Hey guys, it's Chili here. Welcome to Advanced C++ Game Programming. Uh, now before we jump right into the learning, I just want to take a second here, take a bird's eye view and survey our position. So for those of you who have just stumbled across this video, you don't know what's going on, this Advanced C++ series is part of a larger program in teaching C++. So I teach C++ through the lens of graphics and game programming, but it's meant to teach C++ for anyone who wants to learn, not just, you know, aspiring game programmers. Uh, now, you can follow this series, the advanced series, if you like, but if you find yourself getting stuck not knowing what's going on, you probably want to go back and, you know, start at beginner or maybe at intermediate, depending on your level, and uh, work through that. The series is made so that at beginner, anyone with zero programming experience should be able to start and work their way through and progress through the series. Now, for those of you coming in here from Intermediate, which is probably going to be most of you, there's one big announcement for this series, and that is I'm switching to Visual Studio 2017 starting from Advanced. So you're going to need, if you're still using 2015, you're going to have to switch it up to 2017 to be able to uh, download any code that I'm going to provide you. And again, code is going to be distributed via GitHub. Now let's talk about what I got planned for the advanced series. It's going to be kind of a Frankenstein, kind of a uh, two-face situation. Uh, because one of the main goals, one of the main motivations for the advanced series is to fill in the blanks to get you guys prepared so that you can move on to the 3D fundamental series where I talk about the, uh, the theory of 3D graphics. Uh, and those holes that are missing, they're almost all just math bullshit. Okay, so advanced, in order to get that job done, is gonna have to teach a bunch of math topics. So what I've done is I've put all the math topics at the beginning of advanced here. And uh, it's gonna be maybe five or six videos, tutorials. And when you have finished these videos, you will be ready. You can just move on to 3D fundamentals. Uh, but that's not all I want to do in the advanced series. I also want to talk about some more interesting, you know, C++ language topics and object-oriented programming topics. So advanced will continue on even after that point. You can start 3D fundamentals, cut out of advanced, but advanced will keep going and will keep releasing videos even after that point. So yeah, these videos are going to be math. They're still going to have coding in every video. I'm going to be teaching this stuff and demonstrating it through C++. But it's going to be heavily weighted on the side of, you know, explaining math diagrams, explaining the, uh, the theory and the motivations for why we need to learn this stuff. Now, as for what is going to be going into the stuff after the math time, uh, it's not fully decided, but I'm thinking definitely want to teach shared pointers. Uh, I'm probably going to teach stuff like variadic templates, maybe some template metaprogramming, multi-threading, OOP design patterns, want to teach file system, maybe I want to teach Boost, some stuff from Boost or other libraries, um, probably want to do a video on advanced debugging techniques, just that sort of stuff. And some of this stuff, it might get its own video, separate video, or its own separate series. Some stuff might be going into the STD Gems uh, series, I haven't decided it all out yet, but that's the general idea of what to expect uh, after the math time. At any rate, prepare your math hole because Chili is going to fill it with the dankest math nugs. There's also a wiki, it's going to contain a page for every tutorial in the series and those pages are going to give, you know, overview of the tutorial, they're going to give links to repos, they're going to give downloads, and they're going to give, you know, information that I come across later on, like uh, maybe some errors that I made and some notes that you guys might be interested in. So make sure you check the wiki page for every tutorial. The link is always going to be in the description. So look forward to that, it's going to be a good ride. Now, if I could get you guys, since this is the first video of the series, if I could get you guys to click the like button, I'd be real appreciative. It uh, probably get me a better ranking in the Google YouTube search monster DeepMind. Uh, so click that like button and stay tuned for more C++ and more math from me, your favorite internet weirdo. See you soon.